so you read the thumbnail right. $2,700 worth of repairs for the busted skid plate and a couple of other miscellaneous things. But before we get too far into it, why don't you see how we got to this point? It's, before I take this any further, we've been, it, it happened again. It happened again. I was like, yeah, we're gonna get, you know, hit a nice trail, everything will be fine, and it's fine. But I'm just, I'm stuck in an, not stuck, I'm just in an area like this. You know those days when you're on the trail, you've been there all day long, and you're like, you didn't expect it, but then the trail turns into be the gauntlet. Well, we're in the gauntlet right now. I busted my skid plate off, which is why the skid plate's there. But I busted it off, I broke it off. It's hanging. So, we gotta get through these mud puddles. We are probably five miles from where we're trying to get to. But every turn, we just run into more stuff. So I thought it was only appropriate to make this video at 9.30 in the morning and to bring along the man who caused all the problems. That's incorrect. Andrew. Now Andrew wanted to go off the beaten path. No, I did not. <laughs> he said, we should take the shortcut. We took the shortcut and everything was fine. And if you guys watched that video, you know what I'm talking about. It wasn't a big deal. I'll put it in the corner, but it, yeah. <laughs> It just turned south. It just it just went south. Quickly. Quickly. And it was one of those days where everything seemed to take forever. But we're on our way to Subaru now to pick this thing up. And, you know, it, it wasn't a cheap fix. Um, I guess the unibody was bent. They had to they had to remove a lot to put to put everything back on. So now I'm in the, the hunt for a new skid plate. But we're going to shoot on up here. I'm gonna grab this thing and we're gonna take a look at the invoice to see just how bad the damage really was. All right, so we're back with the invoice, and let me read you a little bit about the issues. All right, so technician inspected the vehicle. Subframe, skid plate, and cross member have been bent. New subframe and bolts was requested. Customer will need to provide a new skid plate with bolts if he wants an aftermarket skid plate. Um. My B pillars, when I put the Prinsu rack on, the B pillars were really difficult to get back on. I was able to get the driver's seat back on really well, but the passenger side B pillar was a huge pain. I couldn't get all the clips to attach properly, so they put those back on, as well as a couple in my headliner. It still sounds like they didn't do that, but either way. Um, so let's see what else we have. Replace subframe, skid plate, and driver's side cross member. So when I hit that rock with my skid plate, it ended up bending the subframe entirely. And they had to replace the subframe. And that cost $1,392 of this $2,700 invoice. Um, flange bolts, cross member complete. So the labor on the cross member was $402. So I, I'm, I'm incorrect. $1,889 to correct the, replace the subframe with the labor and all of that. Um, wheel alignment was done just to make sure all that was solid, everything's good. 
and that's really all all we got but if you guys are familiar with the skid plates I had on them the ones I had previously were LP adventure and I have nothing bad to say about LP adventure whatsoever the only issue with their design is their skid plate hung down about two inches off the bottom of my vehicle from the subframe so there was a two inch gap as you would drive which would allow air to come through to keep everything cool and the motor and the CVT and all of that which is fine no big deal but it hung down enough that when I was off-road I ended up busting that skid plate off now to LP's credit um, I did not have my traction boards with me that day and obviously there is no bumper winch for the Outback Wilderness the only one that ha has one was um, or is worn but they haven't given me the go-ahead on if it fits on this vehicle I've seen one vehicle with that on it and it is an Outback Wilderness but it did not look good so I'm gonna stay away from that right now but anyways I did not have my traction boards so I was going faster through these mud puddles because I didn't know how deep they were and I didn't want to get stuck because I don't have a winch and I didn't have my traction boards with me so I was going faster than I would generally go and when I hit that rock I ended up busting that whole entire bolt off the skid plate so what I'm going to be doing is searching for a new skid plate and a whole new skid plate set up something that is much closer to the bottom of the vehicle to eliminate having any of these issues in the future I have checked with rally tech and they have a great skid plate setup so if you guys are in the market for skid plates for your Subaru I would highly recommend it because these vehicles are not lifted very high um, even with a lift on a rock could obviously do a pretty significant amount of damage to your car so I would recommend that you put skid plates underneath your Subaru just so you can stay safe but rally tech has a whole host of suspension lineups for all types of Subaru skid plates um, trailing arms control arms they have all kinds of great stuff so I am definitely looking in the direction of rally tech I will put rally techs link in the description so you guys can check rally tech out for yourself um, no affiliation but I think they have been serving the Subaru community for a really long time so it's probably really helpful that uh, you find a company that knows what they're doing with the Subarus not that LP doesn't I just don't like the design of their skid plate so all that being said seven or twenty seven hundred dollars in total two thousand roughly of that was because I ripped that skid plate directly off my Subaru so if you guys are driving your Subarus off-road regardless if they're lifted make sure that you have some type of underbody protection and make sure that it's not hanging down too far because that actually caused a bigger problem that probably wouldn't have been caused had that uh, skid plate be been tucked up tighter to the vehicle so that's all I got I have to get to work I'm already late but it is uh, it's been fun I hope you guys enjoyed the video I hope it was helpful if you did like it subscribe to the channel share it with somebody else and we'll see you guys on the next one